This time on Trail Ride Revolution, racing's canceled, so we're going riding. Sparky, my dog. I think if you had maybe 50 more horse pressers, you had it. All right, so Sparky overheated. Now his battery is dead. Now Big Tim's just gonna drive off in there and try to dump him off. Can't make this stuff up. What's wrong? Bad thing is he's gonna get one out and the other one gonna get stuck. It's like quicksand. <laughs> Big Tim just told me not to put this on the internet. But then all you people at home wouldn't get to wouldn't get to witness this. It's great. Then think it could be done. Yeah, this happened. Well, what's the name of it? Rowdy. Rowdy is the name. This is way better than racing any day. So with the world going crazy right now and everything going on, there's one good thing that's coming out of it. And that is all the people that I used to trail ride with that had got, gotten into racing and haven't been trail riding in forever are all trail riding again because racing's canceled or postponed for who knows how long. So I used to ride with the Bacons a bunch back in the day. And today I got up at 3 a.m. So we can go five and a half hours away from the house to Somerset, Kentucky, to a little 50 acre park owned by Mark Mathis called Piney Grove Off-Road. But the 50 acres packs a lot of rowdy trails and I hope you're ready to hear some big blocks sing. Get in there. 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 Get in there.
Wesley, tell me what happened here. Well, there's a pimp thing. Oh my god. I'm glad she's So how many subscribers you got? Uh, we got like five, six hundred thousand. Oh, you got to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. But seriously, guys, six hundred thousand is a lot of subscribers, and we are super pumped that you guys are watching and tuning in and subscribing to us. But we need more. We're not gonna stop. We want to hit a million. We want to be the biggest off-road YouTube channel there is. That's our goal, and it helps us out a ton when you guys subscribe to us. Be sure to also comment and thumbs up these videos. We appreciate it, and uh, everything you do to help us out just makes the channel better. So, thank you. That time you made it, you didn't let out. Yeah, you covered him up, boy. Yeah. Big Ten just found a spring on the way down the hill. Now he thinks he's gonna go up it. He's about to be hill climb mud bogging. This should be interesting.
spewing. What do you think about it, Sparky? Mud bog. Mud bog. I think if you had maybe 50 more horse pressures, you had it. So Sparky has the high mark right here. He came from down there, mud bog uphill. And that's the high mark. That's the road to get out. To go up a ledge to get out. I don't think it's gonna happen, but fun to watch. All right, so Sparky overheated. Now his battery is dead. And so jump box is dead because we tried to use it to jump little Tim. Now Big Tim's just gonna drive off in there and try to jump him off. Can't make this stuff up. What's wrong? We're going to have somebody hook a cable. I'm, hook a cable, I'm, dude. I'll hey, bring you that cable. Hey, my he was, buddy, he's candied up. He's candied up. Hey, pick your dang butt up. Hey. <laughs> they were all laughing at me when that happened to me earlier. Low karma. Bad thing is you're going to get one out and the other one's going to get stuck. It's like quicksand. Take a step up on the buggy. I tried. <laughs> Peanut guy up there. It's, it's dying. <laughs> hey, I'll drag it out. Anybody else want to volunteer? I'm going to lose my damn boot. This is way better than racing any day. Have you ever had to push a pond? Have you ever had to swim a pontoon boat across the river? We've done it. My God, I have. We got one stuck up here. We get this started. I can't even move or I'm going to run over him. <laughs> hey Matt, you don't guarantee nothing. No. -uh. Don't you dare. You know it's gonna be. No. Yeah, no, it better not. He All the serious though, which one of you two coming out of there first? <laughs> he better cut this. I'm out. coming out first because I'm gonna cut him up with Rooster Tail. I'm going out there with Mark <laughs> Big Tim just told me not to put this on the internet. But then all you people at home wouldn't get to wouldn't get to witness this. It's great. What are you doing in there, Sparky? I don't want to get I don't want to get my feet wet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he made it out. Woo! buggy downhill so he can get the radiator on the rear up so he can start putting more water in it and get it pumping water again. It got hot, spit out most of the water, got an air pocket. Now we got three buggies down here. They might all end up stuck. This is awesome. You saw it here first. Bill Pond Mud Bog. Also, take note of uncut stickies on this one. Uncut stickies versus cut stickies. Cut stickies clean out a lot easier. Non-cut stickies, of course, don't. That's why people cut them. It's the loose stuff.
smoke when a buggy has a rear radiator and you get an air pocket in it. They're bad about getting air pockets because all the coolant has to go from the very back of the vehicle all the way to the front of the water pump. And so you want to have the highest point where you're putting water in, which is the very back, but he was downhill, so they had to get him turned around so they could put water in and so it would start pumping water. He has an electric water pump, so yeah, maybe it'll be good down. could be done it Woo! just happened well what's the name of it yeah dang rowdy <laughs> rowdy is the name <laughs> rowdy hill Next. 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 just goes to show you suspension and buggies have come so far in the last few years that looked impossible So Big Tim, is it okay to put that on the internet? <laughs> I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. A lot of mud in there. You gotta show people uh, how it's actually done. <laughs> A lot of mud in there. That's, that motor sounded real stock that time. Thanks, Big Tim. All right, we're ready. Getting us in this mess? Yeah. Ready <laughs> you ready to ride? <laughs> Which way are we going now?
They've seen us haul our rigs all over the country using our ACE trailer. Now, the only problem is our ratchet straps see a lot of abuse and a lot of elements. And since there's such a short time between each trip, we usually just leave them laying out here on the trailer, which is even worse on them because they get rained on and all that good stuff. So not a big deal, but we want to keep them in tip top condition and working correctly. So we just use a little bit of this WD-40 Specialist Dirt and Dust Resistant Dry Lube PTFE spray. We just spray that in the little gears areas, all the little moving parts, ratchet it around a little bit, and that keeps everything nice and freed up and working correctly. That way we don't have to worry about having any kind of failure when we're on these long road trips to make sure our stuff stays tied down to the trailer. One thing that is super difficult about all this shutdown Corona stuff is you can't go through anything but the drive-through and you can't go through a drive-through with a big trailer and a razor so we came through saw that the drive-through was all concrete and it was just like not happening at all concrete curved all the way well this lady runs out and says oh you trying to order it I said yes I would love some Taco Bell so she took our credit card and we pulled up ordered back back out with the trailer and she's gonna bring it to us people are awesome and I love Taco Bell it's not sponsored by Taco Bell. I just like it. It's just good. Do you like Taco Bell? It's good. So good. Here you go, guys. Thank you so much. They're awesome. We got off on this exit. I'm We're like, the maybe. I'm here. So you guys do this survey. I really do give away $500 a month okay. here. Do this survey and say how good we were. Sweet. Oh, you awesome. sure you guys don't want no sauce? Yeah, yeah. we're good on sauce. Okay. I'll put your food right out. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. So if you're ever in columbia kentucky on the cumberland parkway stop by and get you some taco bell from this taco bell because the manager lady is freaking awesome also bus knuckle magnetic koozies fit on everything you go, honey. i bet you got sports in there too awesome. okay you are absolutely the best you guys have a great day thank I you, love you. <laughs> looks like you guys have had fun oh we had a blast today good, thanks good. Bye, guys. thank you awesome <laughs>